You're not really making money until you don't have to work to get to the bag. You're not making money until you're getting paid while you sleep. On today's episode of The Uzziah Show, right now, I'm about to hop into 10 of the best opportunities that allow you to stop trading time for money. Investing is the easiest way to stop trading time for money. Now, here's the catch. You'll need big money from your investment accounts to stop working. We have to get out of la la land in thinking all you do is put in $5 and somehow that will turn into five million. When you see people that are getting paid big money through passive income, if they are getting that money through investing, it's because they put up big money in the first place and they're just flipping that money through compound interest. What they'll do is they'll go and make a lot of money in their business and then they'll take the proceeds and put it into a investment account that offers a guaranteed rate of interest on their money. And every month the government will send them a check worth tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's one way to do it. The second way that you can get into this without already being a multimillionaire is to invest in real estate. This is just like what the brother Juice was talking about as he was speaking on his five rental properties. You can buy a home and you can rent out the home. You can set up an Airbnb business through an investment property that you purchase. You can rent out a home, you can rent out a duplex, you can rent out a triplex, you can rent out a fourplex, and you can also rent out an apartment complex. Another way that I'm able to make passive income is through royalties every month. The royalty game is about creating something and then getting residual income from it long after you did it. Why don't you turn your talent into a royalty to where you sit down and work hard and when you put your pen to the paper, you never know what can happen. Some of y'all make music. You can make royalties off your music. Some of y'all are very good when it comes to video editing and graphic design. You know, some of y'all can, can create video elements that you can put on a website and license out to other people. Like I'm sure y'all seen different YouTubers and content creators have like these really cool intros for their videos. They've bought an element from somebody else to be able to get it. Like look at the countdown timer for my show. You hear all of these tracks they're getting paid <laughs> off of me using their music. But what if that could be you? Now let's shift gears for a minute and let's get back to talking about rentals because we talked about making uh, rental income through real estate. But another way to do that is through a rental car business. Tesla is working on a robo taxi service that will allow their self-driving cars to drive around on its own. All you have to do is be an owner. And if you put your Tesla in that robo taxi service, you can make up to $30,000 per year. I mean, real talk, even if you don't have a Tesla, cars that you may want for yourself on an occasional basis, you could use a company like Get Around that allows you to station your car in a remote location and then people can use that car and drive it around for keyless entry. People are making money just by renting their car out on Turo. I mean, if you have a car, that's an income stream right there. You just have to put it into work. We are in a sharing economy, y'all. And another way that I think is a great way to make rental income is through storage units. Some of y'all are familiar with this app that just came out called Neighbor. Neighbor allows you to use your home as a storage facility for somebody else. You got a garage, you ain't doing nothing with it. Somebody could be parking their car there. Somebody could be moving to your city, need a storage location, 
you become the plug. The fifth thing that you can focus on creating is something through tech. Like you can come up with a mobile app that brings you recurring income every time somebody buys it. You could also make money from writing blogs. You know, I know a lot of guys, they take content that they're passionate about and they'll make money from the blog just by putting a Google ad up on their blog page. You can have an e-commerce website. You can feature products, somebody else handles the order fulfillment. This comes from a third party website. I don't have nothing to do with this book outside of the time that I wrote it and I put it on the page. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about and y'all see me do this stuff. Content creation is an excellent way to stop trading time for money because you create content online and it still stays with you for years. It stays with the audience for years to come. So I'm spending this time with you right now, but I will make money from this video for years to come. Y'all think that people don't wanna understand how to stop trading time for money? Do y'all think that these concepts are gonna go away and lose value anytime soon? No, this is evergreen. When I first started this channel as a content creator, all I was doing was giving instructional videos. Since then, I've offered books, membership clubs, master classes, premium courses, group coaching, one-on-one -on -one consultations. It's an excellent opportunity for you to get into content creation if that's your thing, because you have the opportunity to stack up your value. Another way, and this is a big one, building an MLM instead of joining an MLM. The people that are making the most money from MLMs are not the people that join an MLM, it's the people that build an MLM. I know people that made money joining Herbalife, got fit joining Herbalife, help other people get fit and get healthier through Herbalife, and they're making money too. You can set up an MLM where you just focus on creating the product, but the income stream comes in for every person that promotes the product for you. And then they'll have other people promoting it and they'll have other people promoting, they'll have other people promoting it. And then everybody wins. Number eight, you can build a franchise where franchisees pay you a royalty. Somebody started McDonald's, they built a franchise. Every year you get new franchisees that want to set up their own McDonald's so that way they could start getting a part of the money. Who makes more, the franchisor or the franchisee? Number nine, a common way that people stop trading time for money is that they build a traditional company where they hire other employees to do the work for them. I mean, this one is pretty general, right? This is standard. You start out doing all the work yourself. You wear all the hats, you do all the work. But the goal over time is to hire people so that way you can fire yourself out of the work that you're doing. There's more of a grind to this <laughs> and it also is going to take time you're not going to start a business and immediately the money's going to start kicking out it's going to take some time and some sacrifice it's going to take some blood sweat and some tears but obviously this is one of the avenues that will allow you to make a lot of money this takes us to the 10th and final opportunity you can get paid a lot of money by creating a distribution network a distribution network is when you create an environment for other people to exchange uh, their services. But because you set up the platform, you get paid. Amazon is a good example of this because Amazon is just the website where people are coming. But the actual products are being serviced through everyday people that are setting up their own businesses on that platform but Amazon gets a cut. Same thing happens with YouTube. They themselves aren't doing all of the content creation, but they build the platform for the content creators to create. 
And when we create, YouTube gets their cut. So these are things that you really wanna think about. And instead of thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm gonna have 10 different streams of income now, start with one, figure out the best opportunity out of the 10 that I mentioned that works for you, since everybody has different gifts, and then just take that talent and continue to water it from there. If you try to do all 10 of these at once, uh, you're gonna sabotage yourself because every investment takes time.